1992, James Carville hung a sign in Bill Clinton's campaign headquarters spelling out three messages. One, change versus more of the same. Two, it's the economy, stupid. And three, don't forget health care. And Carville had a favorite. Stay focused. Talk about things that matter to people. You know? It's the economy, stupid. The Clinton campaign was going up against Bush 41, an incumbent with a 90% approval rating who just won Desert Storm. Carville understood to win. Democrats had to stay on message. That was easy for a robot like Al Gore. Unemployment is up. Personal income is down. Bankruptcies are up. Real wages are down. The budget deficit is up. Housing starts are down. Fear is up. Hope is down. Everything that should be down is up. Everything that should be up is down. They've got it upside down, and we're going to turn it right side up. <laughs> Against crazy odds, it's the economy, stupid, one Democrats, the White House. Because it's always been the economy, stupid. Biden knows it. That's why his State of the Union message was the great Biden comeback. Now our economy is literally the envy of the world. 15 million new jobs in just three years, a record. America's comeback is building the future of American possibilities, building an economy from the middle out and the bottom up, not the top down. But something doesn't smell right. If there's a comeback, why doesn't anyone feel it? If the jobs numbers are as good as they say they are, why isn't this the roaring 20s? The economy, always an important factor. Well, this is a trouble sign for the Biden campaign because across the seven states in this Wall Street Journal poll, only 36% say that the strength of the economy is excellent or good. 63%, nearly two-thirds of Americans in these seven decisive states, say not so good or poor. The American people have a better sense of economics than economists because the American people smell a rat. And here it is. The Biden economic boom has never been a boom for Americans. It's been a boom for foreigners. The only reason we're not in a recession is because foreign-born workers are taking our jobs. Yesterday, the chair of the Federal Reserve said so himself. We've needed more people. Immigration moved up quite a bit over the last two years, and this is... Uh, uh, typically, the, the Census Bureau does all this estimating. The Congressional Budget Office actually went and took a different path and talked to uh, border, the people who work at the border and that kind of thing and got a much higher estimate. The numbers are actually higher. And that actually explains what, you know, what we've been asking ourselves, which is how, how can the economy have grown over 3 percent in a year where almost every outside economist was forecasting a recession? An overwhelming majority, anyway, were forecasting a recession for 2023. The Fed chair just confessed that Bidenomics is just a migrant job fair. There are actually a million less American citizens working today than there were in 2020. As the U.S. economy reopened after the pandemic, Biden's created 5 million migrant jobs. 5 million jobs, not for people born here, born somewhere else. Illegal immigrants walk across the border, Biden buses them to New York, and after 150 days, they're allowed to work. Is this the great replacement theory? The Democrats said is so racist. Nah, couldn't be. The Biden economy is a mirage, a migrant mirage. It gets even more suspicious. All of these jobs Biden's claimed to have created Millions of them are part-time jobs. Since June, America's lost 2 million full-time jobs. The so-called Biden comeback's a scandal. The president's illegally flooding American industry with cheap labor. Less native-born Americans are working, and millions of us are having to take second- and part-time jobs. This pushes our wages down, and at the same time triggers inflation. The media knows this, but they don't care who does the work and who loses out. They just want to be served by someone, anyone, as cheaply and quickly as possible. We do not eat without 
That's immigrant correct. labor. That's right. You do not have houses without immigrant labor. That's right. You do not have highways or bridges without immigrant labor. That's right. Uh, and by the way, when you're my age, you start to think about retiring on Social Security and Medicare, and without immigrant labor, no there's social no Social Security, security or That's Medicare. Right. Yeah. In fact, we need more migrants to come to the United yeah. States. That was a so-called Republican joining Joy Reid, and they both agree that America's borders need to stay open for the Biden economy to survive. The great sellout, that's what we're witnessing. Republicans and Democrats neither care about the American worker. They just want their crops picked. We need immigrants in this country. Forget the fact that the farm, that our, our, our vegetables would rot in the ground if, it weren't, if they weren't being picked by many immigrants, many illegal immigrants. Agriculture. I mean, you're going to have vegetables rotting in the fields. You're going to have construction sites that will lie dormant. We have a shortage of workers in our country. And you see even in Florida, some of the farmers and the growers saying, why are you shipping these uh, immigrants uh, up north? We need them to pick the crops down here. Primetime wants immigrants, but not at the expense of Americans. We made immigrants wait in line for the American dream. And Americans should have a say who's next in line. Or else this country becomes a third world dumping ground for dirt cheap labor that carves out American prosperity. Biden's economic comeback's a fraud. It's based on open borders and slippery statistics. And if millions of Biden migrants are working, millions are on welfare too. And it's costing us a fortune. Some Biden migrants are costing us our lives. Ask Lake and Riley. Ask Arnold Schwarzenegger. To me, coming to America was the key to my success. It's just a place where foreigners are welcomed. And this is the key thing. If you are willing to contribute yeah. to America, there's a lot of people that want to come to America to take advantage of America. And I am very vividly against that. The White House yesterday admitted open borders boosts the labor supply. Watch. Reforming our immigration system only strengthens our economy. You hear the president talking about that, about making sure that we have an economy that works for everyone, making sure that there's dignity and respect for everyone. And so, and by doing that, it boosts our labor uh, supply. You take away the migrant boom, so goes the job boom. They are willing to sacrifice your job, your income, your taxes, your quality of life, and your safety. American sheriffs aren't taking it anymore. Listen to this. This is killing us, and it's destroying our country. Everybody, it's affecting all of us. In Butler County, times the 3,300 counties in the United States. These people aren't doing anything, and they're causing it. No matter, it don't matter who, who elected them, what they've done, we've elected these people and they're not responsible is what they're telling us. Most illegals are peaceful, but they still broke the law by crossing without an invite. Yet there's a hardcore criminal element trafficking drugs, women, and children into our country, and the Biden administration won't even admit it. This administration has done everything it can under the law, that's the important part, under the law, to make sure that we handle the, the border properly. You don't have a sense of people who are passing drugs at, uh, at random because they get to because the borders are open. No, they're not. They said the border wasn't open. They said they wouldn't take our jobs. They said they aren't committing crimes. And now they say they're not bringing drugs. All of those things were lies. And remember, they also say they won't be able to vote. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.